start with, everyone's got to start with, Luke, how's your appendix at the minute? Yeah, for, for the 600th time today. Um, no, it's all good, thank you. Um, got through the game unscathed um, and I'm feeling good. So, yeah, appendix, all good. What was it like when everyone jumped on you, though? Yeah, that was probably the toughest test, if I'm honest. Um, no, lucky. well, I was probably that high at that point um, with elation and stuff like that that probably couldn't feel anything, so... A, a moment like that, drop goal to win the match to take Castleford to the grand final what were the emotions like at that point if you can remember if you can put it into words um, look I, I got an opportunity a bit a couple of sets earlier and missed that one and I knew if I'd get anywhere in Fortune that I was going to have another go and uh, look as soon as as soon as you, it comes off your foot you kind of have an idea it's going over and I watched it for a second and just set off sprinting down the pitch uh, Zach caught me within about 10 metres so uh, no, look, it's, it was amazing. Uh, the game was a bit of a roller coaster emotionally. Um, probably went through every emotion possible uh, in that game, and luckily we got the job done in the end. I to have won it, then lost it, then won it, then drawn it, and then to winning the, the final, to, to come here to Old Trafford. Is it a dream come true? Yeah, uh, to win on Saturday would be a dream come true. But just being here, is, I'm not happy with just being here. I want, I, I want to win as well, so... Uh, Look, winning a grand final would be a dream come true, and that's it. That's the aim. Especially, of course, first team to first Castle team to finish top of the table. Now, in a chance of being the first Castle team to win the championship trophy. Yeah, look, it's been uh, it's been a remarkable year. Um, it's been a remarkable few years, if I'm honest. Um, we've uh, we've assembled a good side, and we keep adding to that. And um, yeah, look, it's uh, it's been a good year. And like I say, we don't want to finish finish just with a grand finalists we want to be grand final winners so uh, another 80 minutes ago the way the game went on on Thursday night it, it seemed at times you were very un like there seemed there were a bit of nerves there was that a, a, a good thing in a sense to get that game out of the way to win that kind of game coming into a game like this yeah possibly um, look it, hopefully the nerves are out of the way now it was probably a, a lot riding on that game to actually get to a grand final uh, we're 80 minutes away we didn't we didn't want to obviously all the all the hard work and not even reach a grand final. Hopefully the nerves are out way and uh, we can focus on the job at hand on Saturday. You, Ben Robertson, a few others are able to do all the flashy stuff, but Adam Milner's uh, tackle and, and then he's try. What what a performance that was on Thursday. Mate, Adam Milner's probably been doing that all year. Um, just it gets noticed in the big games. Um, he's been outstanding and he's been a, a leading f force for us. So uh, no ads were outstanding. He's, but he's, he's been doing that all year for us and his performance on Saturday uh, well, was uh, second to none, it was world class. As an individual it's been a, a long journey for you, there's been lo lots of lows as well as highs, so what's it like having been and having to play your way back up to Super League to be in with 80 minutes of uh, winning a grand final? Yeah look, it's starting off at Leeds and going out to Doncaster on loan and going down to London at 19 moving to London um, yeah it's been it's been a, a journey to say the, to say the least like you say a, a few lows and and to, to finish off with playing a grand final it's a pretty amazing journey if I'm honest and um, it's what I'm proud of and you've taken a team who of course know everything about winning grand finals but you've beaten them four times this year do any of the, those results mean anything coming into this one I don't think they do if I'm honest um, it's a one-off game. We'll wipe the slate clean, and uh, and we'll go from there on Saturday. I don't think Leeds will be will be too worried about losing their last few games against us, and I don't think we'll be too worried about winning them. Um, it's uh, like you say, it's a one-off game. We'll wipe the slate clean, and we'll go from there. Lots of emotion around the game, and, and especially with Leeds, obviously losing Rob Burrow and Danny Maguire after this game. What have, what do you think they've brought to Super League and to the Leeds Rhinos? I couldn't speak highly enough of them, to be honest. Um, Rob and Dan, they've been amazing. They've been credit to the game and good friends with Danny obviously off the field and uh, he's he's been a legend um, he's a legend uh, he's been outstanding he's I can remember watching him in grand finals challenge cups scoring tries um, probably me coming at Leeds at 14 and 15 he he was obviously just breaking through into the first team and I can remember watching him closely and look he's uh, like you say he's a legend and him and Rob have I've uh, I've been amazing for Leeds, but hopefully we uh, we can spoil the party on Saturday. 
be uh, plenty of people from Castleford. I think the town will probably be empty come uh, Saturday afternoon, and they've been uh, giving you great support all season. Mate, it's a, it's a remarkable fans what we've got here. Um, like you say, it'll be Castleford, it'll be Ghost Town on Saturday. They'll they'll all be in Manchester, and it's it's brought the town closer together. Our success this year, and it, they're really proud. They're really proud, proud town, and they're proud to be Castleford Tigers. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully send them home Saturday grand final winners.